These apples are maturing fast. In about three months, nearly 1,000 kilograms of apples will be harvested on this nearly one hectare plot of land. It's one of the only sources of income for Ren Zeping and his family. He says the road to harvest has never been easy. Our town chief says that I should not give up on this land, so I started fertilizing it and managing it better. If I cannot handle it, I will ask for others to help. Ren was born and raised up in the suburbs of Yan'an. Due to serious back problems, Ren's family was forced into poverty. In 2015, the government introduced the support policies to lift the country's 70 million poor population above the poverty line by 2020. Ren Zeping's family was listed among households in urgent need of financial support. We asked local residents what kinds of projects interested them the most. For example, if they wanted to plant apple trees. We build up the road and the infrastructure to help lift them up out of poverty. The results of these local government support efforts is obvious. In 2014, the total annual income of Ren's household was 4,500 yuan. That's just around 680 U.S. dollars and lower than the country's official poverty line of 2,300 yuan per year per person at the end of 2015. This year, the local government gave Ren 100 chicks plus farming and agriculture training, which will bring in around 16,000 yuan, or just over 2,400 U.S. dollars, for his family each year. It's not unusual for Ren to work in a 12-hour day in the blistering heat of the vast mountains of Yan'an. Ren says the Yan spirit which he has inherited from older generations has helped him through tough times. Going back to 1935 and after struggling through a grueling 12,500-kilometer march over the course of a whole year, the Red Army reached the Yan'an. Only around 8,000 people had survived the march. In 1942, Chairman Mao Zedong proposed the important concept called Yan'an spirit. This was the residence of Mao Zedong from November 1938 to October 1943. It was here he pointed out to students from the Central Party School that there was Marxism in the cave houses of Yan'an, and he emphasized the significance of studying evolutionary theories. Experts say Marxism was an important part in helping Mao Zedong form this thought. The core of the Yan spirit was to stick to the right political path, self-reliance, hard work, firm belief, seeking truth, and serving the people are the basic principles of this spirit. In the current climate, how to drive innovation? We have to take on board the revolutionary enthusiasm from the Yan period. As President Xi Jinping pointed out, the Chinese dream relies on the Chinese spirit, and the Chinese spirit is a patriotism at the core of the national spirit, an innovative spirit, and Yan'an spirit. 74 years later, Yan'an spirit remains strong. For Ren and 70 million other Chinese battling against the poverty, the road to a better life will, one way or another, always come back to the idea of the Yan'an spirit. Liu Yang, CCTV, Shanxi Province.